Hello, hello, what is up everybody? It's your buddy, it's Master Dirty Boy Swag here with the M Maverick Dual Type Tournament Week 6 match number 5. It is, uh, I'll be doing my own perspective right now because, uh, first, uh, Axel's not here right now to give out his, uh, perspective and, uh, he'll probably record that later and it is my match this, today, so, uh, I'll be challenging Nino, need to know today. Uh, he has, uh, varying fire types and I have the, um, fire grass type so uh looking at what we have already seen uh we have like two of the same pokemon each this is gonna be interesting it's gonna be very interesting <laughs> <sighs> well um i don't know how this is gonna i don't know how this is gonna uh, settle out uh i feel like it's gonna be funny so uh, we can only hope how everything is going to go by here. And uh, yeah, um, let's do it. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I think it's fine to just start it off already. I'm just going to do what I initially planned I was going to do. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Ooh. Nah, it can be used anyway. <laughs> it can be used anyway. It doesn't matter. But you can't hit me here right now, so I'm just going to go for an Earth Power here. He's probably going to try and stun me. Stunning me. Just fine. Earth Power Gun! Oh, he also has eject button. Well, I mean, that's kind of like the tack, I think. Eject button. Eject button. Oh, look, he has this now. Um, I don't exactly know what he's going to do here. And okay, we know he has the air balloon too. So, do I waste the Terra here already? Uh, maybe not. That might not be a good idea. Um, maybe I'm just going to terastalize. Yeah, I'm just going to terastalize and do it. It's fine. We, we're, I think the main thing is we break that, um... I, oh, I mean, it also depends if we actually stuff too. Ah, uh, this might be too much right now, but I think it's better. Yeah, because I want to at least survive the hit. So, let's see. Okay. Speed Sower coming in, Eject Button coming in, Cinderachi coming in as well with the Grassy Seed boost. Uh, he might kill me here. I think I should be faster. I think I should be faster here. Okay, so this is the scary part now too. If I'm faster. Oh. One way to find out. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. But I am faster. I am getting the healing off here. So I'm going to Swords Dance again here, I think. <clears throat> the only problem would be if he gets a crit on me. I think that would be like where it would really suck. Because he could go for a stab move here, actually. Which I think might be... Stuff is found in right. What can I hit with everything on his side of the field if I do end up doing something like that? I already used my Terra too, that's why. We're just going to see how this works. Okay. So. 
Um... I don't exactly know what I want to go into here. So I'm just going to go into the... Uh... Oh, this is scary. I really don't know what to go into here. Oof! Wow. That uh did quite a bit of damage, actually. I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel everything, I think, here now. Um, I don't think I'll be outspeeding anything. So we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so we popped his Air Balloon there too. We also popped his Terra here. So I think everything does not want to get hit by this thing. Which is unfortunate, but... It's probably better that way. So now we're just gonna have to see what will get hit by everything. So he's gonna Thunder Wave for sure. Just gonna have to hope for the best here. So I'm just gonna end up... I don't know what he has that can set up here, which is pretty scary. Um, the Galarian Weezing, I think, will be the hardest thing to take care of here. And I can't Terra anymore either, so there's that as well. So Cinderace is coming here. Um, I think it should be able to kill. It should be able to take me out with whatever I have. I so I'm gonna chance here with the spiky shield. I'm gonna chance spiky shield here because I don't know what he's actually. I'm just gonna Ivy cut. Okay. So everything should be faster than what I have right now. Technically speaking, the Moltres is definitely a lot faster, but just in case, I'm going to spike his shield here. Because I don't know what he's going to be doing here, so I can at least try to do some damage on him with the spiky shield. So if he had focus sash shot, oh, he actually has leftovers. Oh, okay, that's something. So we can try to preserve differential here, because we know he has a brave bird now, which I don't know what would be. I'm just going to Ivy cut here. Uh, we'll just we'll just take the we'll just take the KO here. Okay, so now we're gonna go into my teeth. We can go to my teeth here actually, that might be good. Okay, we'll go into my teeth. And we can actually we if this has levitate, we can go safe with anything here. So I think we can just go power gem here. We'll go power gem here and then see what comes out because that's going to determine what's going to get hit by the power gem. Okay, Brave Bird coming in, not doing enough damage. Recoil coming in, power gem will probably KO it as well. There we go. <clears throat> okay, Galarian wheezing here now. <laughs> puff, puff, give. Let's go. Um, We can go for stab here. Yeah, we can go stab here. He probably has like earthquake or something. Maybe we'll just flash cannon. Okay, so that doesn't take it all the way. He does have Thunderbolt. Will he get a Paralysis? He does indeed get the Paralysis. So we do know he has that up, so we'll, uh, I guess we'll just Flash Cannon again. Uh, we can Flash Cannon again. Okay, Flash Cannon coming in. Now he does have the Mega Diancy that's left over. This one is going to be a little bit scary because I don't know what he's going to be doing. He can definitely do some shenanigans where it boosts itself up. Uh, I think it's definitely faster as well. But if we're lucky enough to get damage on it before I go down... Yep, that didn't happen. Okay, he doesn't get the special attack boost up here as well. Uh, we can be a little bitch now. Yep, we're gonna actually be a little bitch now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're gonna be a little bitch now. <laughs> I am sorry. We're being a little bitch now. I mean, well... If we can get past the paralysis check, then oh, yeah. that, that just depends on that. Uh, we're just gonna Giga Drain here. Actually, we'll just Terra Blast. Speed Sower, Terra Blast coming in, doing that much damage. That was 45.7%, so that's still up to a roll here. We could Giga Drain here, honestly. This should do more damage, I think. 
I think. <laughs> but uh, we'll just chance it. I mean, we can also just Giga. You know, we could just go for the. Just go for a Giga Drain. That way, if he does anything, we can at least heal. And there he goes. And that is the battle. GG will play Nino. Um, that was really scary. I was saw the heat trad and oh my goodness that was a little bit scary but um yeah so we won this match uh i got a 4-0 differential and um yeah let's go back to see what everybody else uh has for comments and whatnot where is my undefin whoo oh my god <sighs> nice <laughs> oh my god welcome back thank you honestly thank you. we thought uh we thought you were kind of screwed there for a while Glenn. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, I wasn't sure what to do, honestly, <laughs> for some stuff. You can change very fast. Hey. But... Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do because I was like, okay, so I got the Swords Dance off of the um, the Cinderace, and I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do here now. I can either try to attack, break the balloon. It, that's, that's a real weird Pokemon to baton pass with. Yeah, I, I thought it would be like something like funny to do in a sense, or like just out, I guess out of tech, more likely. Cause like I wasn't, uh, what was I going for? I was going for like, okay, I want to use this Pokemon. I just want to use this Pokemon, and then and I was looking at what it had, and then I was like, okay, you know what? I'm bringing out the, you know, I'm bringing out the seed sower, so maybe we can at least try to proc something here, which was the grass seed. So that kind of, I feel like that would help a little bit, cause I wasn't sure what Nino was gonna bring over. I was kind of half expecting like another Mega Blaziken for some reason, and so like that kind of scared me into my in, when I was thinking about the uh, Cinderace pick. I also forgot about Clefkeet. Paralysis is more annoying. If Nino had rocket. switched his, uh, if Nino had had Terra'd his Heatran into a Grass, there would have been nothing you could do about it except Cartana, maybe. Mm, maybe that, that's a big maybe because if i wasn't everything else i think uh... based on what i we saw <coughs> it didn't have anything to deal with a grass uh p trend uh yes on first look yes i have nothing to do with the because if if, if, your, if your ogre pawn was the fire ogre pawn it would have been able to deal with it yeah actually though um now that i'm literally looking at the stats i actually did put <laughs> Gunk shot on my Cinderace, so that would have been the oh. only thing that could deal with it if it hits. <laughs> oh, but it wouldn't. I think if it was still out at the time too, it wouldn't have the um the stab boost because it was already a normal type anyways. So like, I don't know how much damage I'd yeah. actually be doing against it. So, Yeah, that was a fun match. Um, I was actually feeling really nervous throughout the entire match. I, I know this is like another battle with me. And I see I see the Cinderace on his side. I see the Heatran on his side. And I'm like, oh man. It's, <laughs> is he going? Is yeah, this happening? They, they have a lot of different ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. That was a good, that was a good game. <laughs> All right, let's go. We don't challenge each other. But All right, let's indeed, go. looking at the okay, next but... match. Yeah, for week eight. Well, week seven. Next would be Axel for Nino. Oh, week yeah. seven, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nino, you'll be challenging Axel next match. How are you feeling about that matchup? <laughs> Told you, here comes a losing streak. No, where you'll win against me in the last one. So I will. I'll finally lose to Fairy. And then I will be going up against Will next match. Um, I guess technically his bug beat my grass, but my fire beat his bugs. See how that happens. Oh, actually his poison also beats my grass. So my grass type Pokemon are going to have a hard time against those. Against his. Bit of the fight. Yep. I'm going to have to fight. Yep. You both uh, have an advantage against each other. That's twice the advantage over one of my typings. <laughs> But uh, without further ado, if anybody else has any more questions or concerns. Okay. Nope. And with that, that is the end of uh, week, six week six, match five. Uh, join us, everybody, in the next uh, video that's going to be going up. I believe that is the final match between 
Zach and Joe. And yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Links down below, to people's channels and whatnot. And don't forget to check out the perspective on Axel's side as well whenever he records another post part of the video. Without further ado, catch you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 On the wave. <laughs>